what is it today? Today is October the 3rd, just around 6 o'clock, so I'm going to call the regular meeting to order. Um, first item is to approve minutes from last time, which was September the 19th. Could I have a motion to that effect? So moved. Second. All right. And discussion changes, whatever. Everybody's good. All right. All in favor of approving the minutes as written, please say aye. Aye. All right. Aye. All right. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next is set adjust agenda. I know we have one uh, item. Well, whoa. wait, it's already on here. I move we accept the agenda. Yeah, um, it's because that's part of my minutes. Yeah, it's not on the posted agenda, though. It's on yours. So Sorry. we're adding an item. We're going to. Oh, we need to? We need to because it wasn't posted. So we need to add yeah. an item to um, consider uh, assign, um, appointing someone to the um, to the rec committee. We have we do have an app. No. It's item three. It's um, oh, three. discussion of the Novus Net metering oh, agreement. Oh, right, 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 right. Raising the town manager. To Sorry, it's not on there. I was thinking mm -hmm. that it was the... Okay, right. So item three is the Novus solar project that last time I thought we didn't have enough info on and we have more info I on. I make a motion that we accept the adopt to amend the uh, to agenda. To include, to include item, item number three, three about the Novus solar right. project. Exactly. Second. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Any opposed? Motion carries. That's our new agenda. We're going to roll with it. I'm just writing that in. Then uh, next is communication from the audience. Hey, Doug. <laughs> okay. Um, next up is town manager report. Sean Fielder has been off in the world of uh, Vermont League of Cities and Towns, but that's probably not the report. Part of it. Okay. Good. <laughs> Danny said I have to keep it short, so I'll try to be. Uh, I'll try to brief this up. Okay. <laughs> so we are. Uh, we, year, year, I yeah, I know. <clears throat> um, we are uh, tomorrow. We're receiving bids for the uh, LVRT project. That is the uh, in cooperation with Vast. Vast is uh, the ones who actually enter into the contract for the decking and railings for Bridge 38 and 40. Yay. So we had worked with them on some frequently. Uh, sorry, some questions. Uh, got some support from DeWolf. So again, we'll be looking. We'll receive bids tomorrow, and then early next week, we'll be uh, making a determination. Um, Following last uh, last select board meeting, I was um, uh, directed to reach out to the patent estate attorney to uh, put a timeline on when we want the uh, items that the family is trying to recover as part of the estate settlement. So we are. Uh, I have been in touch with the estate attorney, and we've got an October 19 deadline. So uh, they are advised of that, so everybody is informed. We did host, uh, Eric was uh, setting up this meeting with uh, Senator Sanders' office. We did have an, two officials from their office uh, who came in and uh, just chatted about uh, various projects in the community, uh, including LVRT, uh, Yellow Barn, and um, a little bit of discussion about the Judah Biden Library. And the connection there was one of the staffers works uh, is focused on museums and libraries um, you know, on behalf of the office, so a little bit of a discussion around that. So I was chiming that that started as um, a connection about just the rail trail, and then as it turned out, she's like, oh, and let me introduce, you know, she's interested in doing libraries and museums, and we said, well, do we have a library? In a museum. Yeah, in a museum. <laughs> Let's get you connected. So uh, that was productive, and I have to admit, I hijacked the meeting because uh, Eric was initially set up, and I said, well, if I can come along, I've worked a long time with one of these uh, representatives, so it was good to uh, make the connection. Um, did have a couple of issues this past couple week period uh, with dog ordinance uh, issues and uh, we did deal with those through uh, Aaron's help with the police department so in both instances the um, the folks that were the cause of the problem if you will had been uh, issued warnings uh, for those situations we have ongoing discussions with the, uh, with the future tenants for the Yellow Barn Business, business Accelerator project and um, one is Jasper Hill of course, the other we can't mention at this time. Um, and I would just at this point remind everybody that we do have a hearing on the uh, updated hearing if you will because we did hold one back in February but we'll have an updated hearing October 17th at 5.30. That's in advance of a regular select board meeting. So that is noticed as of now and um, 
be a good opportunity to hear the latest and uh, answer anybody's questions. An important thing on the project that we got some information on recently is uh, just some really positive uh, economic impact assuming we move forward with the project. So I think that's pretty important to, to know at this point. But obviously if anybody has any questions they can come to that hearing uh, or be in touch with the manager's office. Um, Eric's heavily involved with this as well so I know he's pretty well versed on this project as well. But uh, I'll do my best to answer questions if there are any at any given time. Did take part in the uh, NVDA annual meeting. Wiz and Sherry also attended that, and it was a good opportunity to interact with a lot of other folks from this area, and then uh, a number of elected and uh, state officials at that event as well. This, uh, this next item is uh, coming off actually last year before I was actually officially assigned. Some folks from the East Hardwick area had asked about uh, what could be done uh, procedurally to uh, investigate if VTrans could reduce the speed limit up in the East Hardwick area. So we have, uh, I have reached out to, it's District 9 that we had to reach out to on this issue. They are getting information back to me so we can procedurally see what we have to do in regards to an official request and what might have to be done. So I'll know more on this this next week. And um, uh, everybody's aware we did uh, recently uh, set the water and waste sewer rates uh, for this current operating year. As a part of that process, uh, Alberta and other folks involved on the rate, uh, rate um, setting discussion, uh, we're developing frequently asked questions item. So we're going to have that included in this next round of bills and also have it posted on the website for folks. Um, just you know, some of the things that we're hearing about now, as I said, that are frequently asked questions. Related to this topic, uh, I am investigating our options for doing some kind of an instant alert system. Uh, so the, the example would be like what we had this last February if we have an incidence like, like a boil order, and hopefully we don't see too much of these issues moving forward, but if we had an issue like a boil order, we're in a position to do basically a one-stop shop to get the word out to everybody. And what we're striving for on that is it's... Um, if, if people want to take part, they would provide information to us. So if you have something as simple as a landline, you're going to get an automated call. It's similar to what the school systems are using in places now. You could elect to get a text. You could elect, elect to get an email. You can elect to get all three. So you don't miss out on the notice about what is happening. You know, in addition, we'd be posting on website, uh, front porch forum, you know, making direct calls like we did this last time around. But we're just trying to be a little bit more responsive and make sure people have the information in a real timely manner. So that's the objective. So hopefully we can roll something out here in early 2020, first part of 2020. Every time I hear 2020, it's like... It's here, isn't it? <laughs> so... Um, we did host a uh, scheduled planning meeting for the Bridgman Roof Reservoir construction project with our engineers A&E and Spates Construction as well as the state engineer. Uh, we did tour the job site uh, earlier this week. Uh, we do have some floor repairs that we do need to have uh, taken care of. Spates is going to be involved with that. Uh, an important thing that um, was uh, described in this last seven to ten day period is we had some concerns about how the interior steel that's being hung was going to be painted and if we were going to be pushing the envelope on the temperatures and weather with the next season coming upon us and what's uh, what's really good to report is they have the steel now it's off-site and it's being painted and then it's going to be brought to the facility and installed so that's not going to be a logistical problem of getting the paint on. That's really significant. So we're anticipating the beams and the, the structure to be closed in the end part of October and the schedule at hand um, keeps us right on target with, uh, you know, in, our op in operation, uh, back to full operation on that particular facility in December. Nice. Um, did take part in uh, LVRT update event hosted by VAST uh, earlier this week with uh, Eric and Danny. There were, um, there were some positive discussions uh, about advances that are taking place. Um, the big takeaway is there's, you know, there's some more funding that is needed, but uh, just my observation is those places where the LVRT is completed there's bringing significant economic impact to those areas and you know this is why we've been putting a lot of energy into the project in the town of Hardwick um, you know many people before me and Eric and select board you know many community members uh, working on this for a lot of years so we're keeping that ball rolling on various projects and 
pretty significant impact economically. So we'll keep doing our part. Hopefully it brings the project along is how I might say it. Well, if Danny or Eric want to add anything else on that. I would just say follow up on the <coughs> economic impact. I thought Hans, is that Susie? Yes. Had uh, um, some great information that he shared that basically places where the trail is built now, you're already seeing an economic impact in, you know, on the order of maybe $100,000 of economic impact. Places that have a full trail, like this will be when it's complete, like a 90 mile rail trail, those places are seeing more like it's more on the order of a million dollar impact. So getting the whole thing done really is, is kind of a big deal because then it's a destination. You have tourists coming, they're going to travel multi-day trips, they're going to stop, they're going to eat, they're going to sleep, you know, all that stuff. And that, that's, I think that's a pretty compelling reason to not just do bits and pieces, but get the whole thing done. Yeah, and the, the, the concept there was that the people are coming for that destination experience and they want to be able to go out and do a couple day trip and be able to see, you know, not just a three or four mile section, but, you know, be able to do that couple mile trip so they could take advantage of what it is this community or others have to offer, whether it's the historical society and the tracks or the restaurant scene downtown or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, you know, hopefully Yellow Burn in the future, it's just going to be an opportunity uh, uh, to tag on to that. Uh, lastly, I took part in, uh, Eric mentioned this, I took part in the Vermont League of Cities and Towns uh, annual meeting uh, down in Killington and a really good set of presentations and topics uh, presented. A uh, good opportunity to interact with a number of municipal officials uh, as well as the League who provides a significant amount of support to us in various areas and are, are, they are also our insurance providers. Um, uh, did get a quick update on what is anticipated on the uh, back end of the biennium for the legislative session and um, it is uh you know, from the league's perspective, they do anticipate that the legalization of uh, recreational marijuana is going to advance at the close out of this session. So that's something that all Vermont communities are going to have to be aware of and thinking about because obviously there's a lot of different things that that impacts in your community. So um, that we'll be hearing more about as we move forward. Uh, the other thing that was talked about was just trying to uh, strengthen the local control is how it was framed. So as an example, the discussion came up that when a given community has to go through a charter change, it is a really cumbersome process and uh, the league is trying to, they've been working on this for a number of years. What they're trying to do is have it so that something as simple as, uh, maybe I could use the example of, um, you know, you just want to make a change because you're eliminating a position. So the wear of coal, as an example, you have a position like the way of coal. Well, that's an obsolete thing, but it's mentioned in the charter. At the local level, you've decided we don't need this. We want to take it out of our charter. The local decision's been made. The way the state law reads now is you still have to go before government operations and have them clear it. And it doesn't quite make sense. So that's, that's a little bit of the background and logic on that. So that's all I have. I tried to be as concise as possible. So if there's any questions, be glad to answer them. Uh, th my question is, does the league plan on doing any additional trainings around how towns can be prepared for um, the legalization of marijuana, especially, I think I've read stuff about, um, you know, do you want to, do you want to either opt in, opt out, all this, uh, dispensaries yeah. and things like this, that, and what are the considerations? So we're talking about the legalization sale of marijuana. It's already legal. Sorry, it's legal. Extent. Oh, okay. right, right. But the full sale, right? So then, but so the answer is yes. But you have to kind of, you know, they're trying to be a little bit preemptive, but we don't know what the final state law is. Right, right, right. right. So an example that came up in the discussions was there's an opt-in, opt-out. I'm like, okay, well, what does that mean? So what they honed right in on is, well, you 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 would have the opportunity to have a local tax if you decide to allow the sale in your community. Mm -hmm. So there's an example, mm -hmm. you know, there's a revenue gain. For good or bad, there's a revenue gain right. opportunity there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you need to be thinking about, okay, is that is that how you want to go as a community? Right. So, the, I mean, and there's there a lot probably, of detail in this, there are probably course. other things we should be thinking of. Absolutely. And th so they are going to, there will be some more, they're going to organize some more sessions, seminars, yeah. opportunities to learn about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, because yeah, there are a lot of implications of any deciding any of these things in any way. That's yeah. correct. Yeah. So. Um, and that's good. Bad. Yeah. Uh, again, the way yeah. they were going about it is, uh, you know, the league does, they do monthly updates and when we get actually into the legislative season, they're good about providing, you know, information as far as where things are at. So, you know, are they going to be able to give us the, you know, one or two hour session on, you know, here's how you would implement and here are the pluses and minuses. I don't think they're at that phase because we don't know what the final law right. is. They don't know, they're quite right. a, there's still quite a bit of debate not prepared to take place. Before. They anticipated, right. the statement was, we think it's going to go this time around, is what they were saying. Yeah. But it's hard to know for sure. Sure. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, one of the big things that's holding the roadblock is that they're not putting any law enforcement piece into it. Right. Um, right. And so they're putting the cart before the horse, so to speak. Um, right. How could, yeah. Right. That was. You, you that need was, to be able to, you need to have some management right. around this thing before you open it up. Right. And that's why I know the governor, that was one yeah. of his big problems with yeah. it. It's like, mm -hmm. you well, know, we can't just all of a sudden. So that held it up this last time. I mean, just dr driving alone is a great example of yeah. if it's going to be legal to do, what's the alcohol is legal to drink, but you can't right. there, six there, out. You know, there's <laughs> ways to detect overuse of alcohol, et cetera, you know, while driving, and they haven't figured any of that out. Man, well, it's much, yet, much so. more difficult to mm -hmm. sell. So. Yeah. And that's what the government. It's not like alcohol. It's not breathalyzer. No, breathalyzer is no. pretty simple and pretty accurate. No. <laughs> From my experience, it's really. <laughs> <laughs> They've been pretty spot on. A couple of encounters I've had with them, they weren't this spot. <laughs> you don't have to put that in the minutes. <laughs> all right. That's, okay, that's, that's all I have. We digress. If there's no other. Has anyone, has anyone brought this under to you about the groceries on the market or anything along those lines at all? No, I just have read a little bit and just am, you know, thinking that it's something we need to think through, you know, ahead of, uh, yeah, ideally, yeah. ahead of um, when it's allowed, so. But a lot of that's going to be regulated by state mm -hmm. and the sale and how it takes place. I'm sure it's going to come in a whole list of, just like alcohol, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're going to have to be licensed, I'm sure you're going to have to mm -hmm. have some kind of criteria. Is it, is it in fact going to be controlled like liquor is? Where right, is it going to be a state agency? Is it going to be part of, yeah, liquor? Right, you know, so that's true, we don't know. There's a lot of work to yeah. do with right. this process. Sorry, no, I, should, I shouldn't have mentioned this topic. No, no, it's no. extending because we should be thinking about it because as a citizen, <laughs> we should be weighing in on those things as well. Well, We're, some towns have already voted as right, towns but they're, to they're just, not allow dispensaries right. or whatever. Right, right. and they put it into their zoning bylaws. It's there's all right. way ahead of Well, that's pretty premature in my mind. Well, we got, I mean, remember we have federal, <laughs> we have federal law too, so that, I mean, there's going to be, a, you know, as a quick example, there's going to be a prescribed distance where you can't have this near school as an example. So, I mean, there's certain yeah. other factors yeah. in place. It, it's, you know, it is complicated. Of yeah, course. so this it's is still illegal issue. federally. Say again? Yeah. Anyway. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. And how is that going to tie into your does. federal funding there? You know, whether they're going to ease up on that. There's a lot. Right. right. Right, right. There's a lot to it. They, I'm not surprised that you they don't work it out in one way. I, I go to Montpelier way too much. They don't work a lot of stuff out over there very quickly. If you were to allow it, I mean, they could essentially say that they would deny federal funding right. to your yeah. town. You know, they've they've already For fought the reason. state over immigration and so on. So, yeah. Um, yeah. who knows? Yeah. At this point, what? All right. So we'll wait and see. <laughs> What's yeah, something, yeah. something we are going to have. The good news about. is there's other states that have been doing this for a while now, so that by the time Vermont gets around to it, for once, we won't be the guinea pig. Yeah. Hopefully we'll have some... Somebody else will crash and burn somebody, first. That's right. Somebody else will have a few things not to learn not to do, right? Yeah. All right. Awesome. And we're going to move along. Thank you, Sean. Next up is a uh, road foreman report, which is, does anybody want to offer a road... Do we still have one? I, I saw the grader had been out, um, and I saw the the ditching is looks like it's complete on um, Art of Farms. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, I anticipated Tom being here. I would have been uh, better prepared to offer a few comments, but I know they have been, uh, the sand pile is being stockpiled now, so we can oh, yeah. comment on that. Uh, something that was hanging out there is uh, we were still waiting to hear about our salt price, and uh, we do have our salt price. I can't tell you what that salt price is, but we have our salt price locked in, and uh, Tom basically was, he felt it was reasonable, you know, for our winter salt. Um, on the it was gonna sand, work in our budget. Yeah, on the sand room, on the sand uh, stockpiling, um, it was Woodbury yep. and was it Greensboro that assisted also? 
we had a couple other surrounding communities that helped us haul, so thanks to those folks, you know, we, we try to help them out. Um, I know we have been doing a significant amount of uh, ditching uh, work that's ongoing, and also we have been uh, graveling, uh, you know, quite a bit of road work as uh, road as well. Uh, the other thing is um, Tom will be coordinating with our uh, getting a little bit more uh, brush cutting done, and um, you know, there's a couple of highlights that we could comment on right now on on behalf of uh, Tom. And then I also saw they were, I saw guys putting in a couple more meter pits. I just happened to drive by one day on Mattville Road and they were doing those. Yeah, then, that's a correct um, statement. Uh, I also saw um, Kenny out with somebody doing smoke testing. Of, Thank you. That's a good thing to comment on. So we got saw, one more day of that. And that was interesting because I saw, I'm like, because oh, Sean had told me. Sean had told me there was this, I'm like there's smoke coming out of the the um, grates the, not, yeah the manhole covers yeah. right not the grates but and then I go up to turn on my road and right before my road there's smoke coming out of somebody's lawn like at, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Somebody, they said, and they said you'll get that too, depending on like how. Yeah. yeah. I know. If somebody's plumbed, I know like this floor drains into right. the sewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they dispatch. But this one coming out of the lawn is a leak. That's a leak. There, yeah. There. Did you pass it along to Ken? Did you pass it along to Ken? Did you pass it along to Ken? They had already seen it. Okay. I went down and talked to him, and I'm like, how come there's smoke coming out of the lawn? He's was like, a, oh yeah, we saw that. <laughs> there was a short piece in the Gazette this week about uh, just a little bit about the process, and, and this is the objective, just to check on the integrity from manhole to manhole of the collection system line, if you will. And so when you have smoke coming out of a lawn, that tells you, hey, there's a problem. Well, why is it a problem? You have a heavy rain event like we had you know, a number of times earlier this year, and that water can pour into the system where well, you're treating rainwater. That's not what our system is designed for. But, yeah. And it also could lead to, it could be just a break and a plug and yep. the roots are in there and it's Absolutely. not plugged right now, but it's yeah. right. just it's a good, good easy way. To so play. everybody in the community uh, that is on the system knows and around the area, there's one more day planned, which is October 8th. So we have been noticing, we have distributed this, put it on the website, passed the word so everybody is aware, uh, potent, uh, noticed it, and uh, we have one more day of this work taking place. I thought it was cool because I've done had work where the people refer to smoke testing this or that, but it's never actually been smoke <laughs> test, you know, a real smoke test. So that, <laughs> with smoke. Well, fortunately anyway, so we get any cool. fire call out, so that's good. <laughs> that does sometimes happen because somebody gets smoke in their cellar and right. they come and screaming they out, call the fire department, but we are careful to notice the fire department as well. Yeah. All right. At what point is it too cold to do the cement work in front of the post office? <laughs> <laughs> um, I noticed that wasn't bad. And I, just, and I, you know, going I know into, Tom I said going he's waiting on variance for that. The yeah, well, we, uh, so here's how I would answer uh, that. We still have some time to do the concrete work, so he, that will be worked in within this. Uh, I mean, my answer to that is when it starts snowing, it's too cold. Yeah. So we're getting within three or four weeks, is my observation. Yeah. And we got to make sure it doesn't you freeze cover, up. You can, you can, but we can cover it. All winter, but just that's no sense of doing it then. What about where we talked about painting crosswalks twice a year with the less cheaper? Oh, we talked about that. With the cheaper paint versus yeah. because we did yeah. that pilot project where we used the more expensive stuff and it didn't work any better. Yeah. Right. So we were going to do them twice a year in hopes yeah. that they would last better. And it still was going to be significantly cheaper than. And he's also looking into the different color, the brighter right. green. The green, yeah. I noticed, where was I? Somewhere, where they have green in the middle. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Make a difference? He was looking yeah. into that, but right. we don't know what. Yeah, so, not, so I can. Uh, very not, somebody just, it's a new, maybe stove? Somewhere where they just did, mm -hmm. did yeah. stuff. Huh. Anyway, the task I, force has been talking about it, and Tom's been working on trying to find it, so. Trying to find the color paint, but uh, I can check on. You know, we got enough white to Next put down for the fall. It. Well, that's what we talked about doing. We yeah. touched up yeah. the stop sign, stop uh, lines, oh, yeah, and so stop doing that. Uh, words, yeah. but didn't necessarily yeah. hit all I the mean, crosswalks. Those, doing that time is probably more critical than concrete. <laughs> yeah. Just because yeah. it rains every day now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. We've been wide ranging. All right. Next. Um, Police report from Aaron Cochran. What do you what do you have? Oh, well, let's see. So we had, as you know, September was an extremely busy month for us. Um, 229 incidents uh, for the month of September. So a very busy month. Um, 
we had the uh, the uh, uh, drug raid that we did. Um, that took a lot of time just organizing it, not only the investigation of everything, but uh, so we had that. Um, we also had multiple overdoses uh, during the month of September uh, that we responded to. Um, we had multiple DOIs during the month of uh, September that we responded to. Um, you guys did a lot of traffic work, uh, which resulted in the DUIs and some, some DLS. Um, we did have a, um, at the end of the month, we did have a uh, death investigation that we conducted, which is not to say remarkable as far as any death we, we that's unattended we do investigations for, but they are time consuming, so. Um, uh, so we had some of those. Uh, dog complaints. And as always, some traffic crashes. Did somebody run? Yeah, what happened? Yeah. Down the pool and lumber across, across the road. The road. Somebody, somebody went. Yeah, somebody went right, right into in that. Yep. Really? Yeah. Holy macaroni. Yep. Was there brakes or something? Yep. Mm, no. Sometimes you no. say you couldn't hit the broadside of the barn. <laughs> they did. Yeah. They did. <laughs> they did there. Yeah. Thank God there's uh, one on the crosswalk or on the yeah. sidewalk or crosswalk right there. Right. So yeah, so we, we had a lot of those incidents. Um, we did order the another uh, wash guard in-car camera with uh, Governor's Highway Equipment funds, grant funds that we had. Uh, so we ordered that, that's in. Um, so we're just waiting on the new car. Um, I checked today, still not a VIN number, so we're, we're waiting for that. Still, um, we also ordered- I think we didn't get a GM product. <laughs> <laughs> um, Serious. We, uh, um, also ordered, we had put in the budget this last year for uh, uh, three additional body cameras, on officer cameras, as the, old, the other ones had gotten antiquated and most of them weren't working and et cetera and too expensive to replace and they actually didn't even make that model anymore so you couldn't get parts. So, but they are not cheap so and there no there's no grants for the the on officer cameras the body cams so there are for the other for the in car but not body cams so uh, we actually went with a wash guard brand um, so that our um, storage system the download system everything was the same as what's already in the cars so we already had all of the um, necessary software. you know software for that so um, so in one of the neat things actually is is uh, they actually integrate with the car camera so you're getting the view from the car camera the view from the body cam and a car camera does a panoramic view so you're actually getting and it all integrates into a video um, so it's actually pretty neat you're getting a very wide view of what's what's happening so um, Getting so hard to get away from getting, getting hard to get away with. That, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, so those those uh, came in. So we'll be working on getting those out and used and figure out how to use them. What's the cost for one of those body cams? Roughly, they're about a thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, okay. nine hundred something. something. Yeah, yeah, almost a thousand. That's cheap money. Yeah, that's that's cheap. just for the cam, and then you. Yeah. Just for the body camera right. in itself, yeah. But I mean, that's yeah. you must have a battery pack or something. It's pretty cheap it's money to have that. Yeah, so you recharge them. Security. Yeah. I mean, because it's officers. I would. I would not want to be an officer with that one in it, today's world. Like that it, right it's, now. It's great. Yep. You yeah, know, they've they've done a bunch of studies all over the country, and and I don't have numbers in my head, right. but it has significantly it, reduced uh, complaints. Um, you know, right. with, with officers. It is what it is. You know you're on the camera from an officer's perspective. Yeah. You, you, you're, you know you're held to a standard and you know that you're being viewed all the yeah. time, so it's got to help there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it certainly helps in the prosecution of people it, that... Oh, yeah. It, it, you know, it's caught, they've caught what they call excited utterances. Um, it's uh, Today's juries are looking for video. Yeah, looking for uh, it. The officer's word. Unfortunately, to a jury is is not enough. They're looking for video, so um, it's it's really the expectation of today's world. So is to have video. So um, and we have had, but yeah. nothing lasts forever. So uh, we've had to upgrade. So we'll do three this. You know, did three this year. Hopefully, we can do three more um, next year and get them built back up. Um, 
what, what they'll have to do now is what we call hot swap. So they'll have to, you know, when one officer gets done, get it charged, and they'll just keep rotating them until we can get enough for, for everybody. And then everybody would be assigned their own. Um, I just want to endorse Sean for the uh, uh, library whoa, whoa. Uh, <laughs> fundraiser. Kiss a, kiss a pig. Uh, too, right? Kiss a pig fundraiser. I, uh, Sean needs a needs a, every every dollar he can get for the, for that. So um, I don't know what the date is. You don't even know. No, no, no. They didn't even up, They didn't even come up no. take my picture. They uh, they used the one off from uh, off from Facebook. So. Um, we got, we got some nice yeah, cute yeah. Sean needs your help. Uh, you I got word yeah. that town clerk was doing yeah. an annual Don't contribution in, on my behalf. So <laughs> I'm not too happy right now. Um, and uh, I actually got a call last <laughs> week, which was a little different. And uh, they, uh, this individual does a calendar for uh, to raise money to spay uh, cats, spay and neuter cats. Um, so they asked me if I if they could send a photographer up and they wanted to take some pictures of me with their cat and so on on a cruiser and, and that's going to be this year's calendar so um, so I actually have to do that next week as well so is it going to say so, the feline unit I'm not sure exactly how that's all going to be uh, oh boy. be played out you guys are starving for publicity I guess so like, yeah. Yeah. The yeah. yeah so. So I well, agree. I think we need to book in this when you kiss me. I, I mean, that would be perfect as far as I'm concerned. So I agreed to help out with that. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, where are we? Next is item one, right? Mm -hmm. Select board assignment of candidate for the rec committee. So the rec committee has an opening. We had a letter of interest from Kaylee Galloway Kane, who She's the new REACH program director. She's the former um, Wonder Arts, is Is that correct? Spark Wonder Arts director. Right. Oh, does it say in here? It does. No, I'm just it. making it up. Executive <laughs> director of Wonder <laughs> Arts. Oh, perfect. And uh, yeah, so this is the this is the letter of interest we have. And so you need a motion to appoint Kaylee. Yeah. Yeah. Came yeah. To the Recreation committee. Yeah. I moved that. Moved. Second. Any uh, discussion? I think Kaylee would be great on this yeah. committee. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's uh, she's a mover and she's into kids and recreation, and I think that's a good a good angle to have on that. So, all right. So, all in favor of the point? All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Welcome aboard. There are a lot of eyes. Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And motion carries, so great. Welcome, Kaylee, to the rec committee. Next is item two, discussion of animal control officer position. I understand from what I heard about the recent dog complaints that that position may be a little in flux, or yeah. if somebody could describe where we're at and what we need to do, that'd be great. Do you want me to talk? Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, we are, um, you know, John Lange obviously has been in the role for some time, and definitely appreciate his service in the role, but um, it's, uh, you know, he hasn't been in a position to be able to serve in the capacity, uh, you know, what we need. So we got to, we are at a point where we've got to, uh, uh, you know, consider um, our options and, um, you know, that's where it's at. So, so what are our options? Well, we haven't, um, you know, we have we don't have names at this phase, but what I would anticipate is, and the chief and I have just talked about this briefly, is we, uh, you know, we start to think about who are some possibilities of folks that we know in the community that might want to serve in the role. So, so approach I mean, that's, people and ask them rather. Yeah. Than, okay. That's generally where we're at at this phase. So uh, you, everybody does need to be aware. The select board needs to be aware that you know this does impact. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's 40 warrants for unlicensed dogs. So that is impacting that process a bit right now. Uh, you know that's that's a, a task that the animal control officer would have taken uh, the lead on. So we're not going to let those hang out there forever. So the way I would say it is, you know, if we can't get somebody else in the role. Um, we'll get it processed, but it's not going to be maybe as timely just given the situation on the current assignment. So, so where, where are we actually at though with Officer Lodge? Does he re resign? 
So the challenge we've been into these last uh, 10 days or so is we have been trying to establish contact with him and no one can be in touch. We cannot get in contact with him. So we're, you know, this next week, obviously, we have to advance it. We can't have no communication back. And the dog complaints ended up being fielded by regular officers, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so we did address yeah, that. I'm just thinking we need to clean that up before we give that job to somebody else, right? Say that again. We need to clean up our relationship with, with John. Most we... definitely. So, you know, commenting now, we haven't even had a chance to talk to him right. because we haven't gotten a call back. So I wouldn't want him to see this and, you know, be thinking, well, what the heck? You know, yeah. we have tried to reach out. Well, if you try to reach out to him for 10 days and you haven't heard back from him, then... We need to move forward. Yeah, and, and, and this being said, again, I want to just recognize, you know, he's done a lot of service to the community, yeah. so it's not a disrespectful discussion, but you're assigned a position and you have to perform. Is, it, is, that's it, is his health down. failing again? I can't answer. That's probably. I can't that? answer. So, so that's where it's at. So the second thing is, is do you anticipate you know someone that might be interested in this position? I because think it's Because it was hard to do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's where I'm going with this. I mean, it, uh, it, it, I don't know what's going on. It's not an easy one to fill. We've no. It's, no. Aaron doesn't understand the chain of command here. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't. He seems does. to forget the PD guy's already had to deal with a couple of issues recently. Yeah, that's worked out well for me. How about you, Sean? I mean, <laughs> Uh, in all seriousness, we can, we can laugh. Yeah, but we have we do have one person in mind, um, but Aaron and I, um, we need to sit down and just hash it out a little bit this next week. Yeah. You know, what what are some of the options that are out there? We had one party in, that had already uh, talked to us about if you guys need help on, you know, anything strays, whatever it might be. You know, we got one lead, is what I would say. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Well, it's important. So one's better than none, but it was a hard one to yeah. fill when John came along. So yeah. 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 And it's needed. There's no doubt about that. We, yeah. We've had to deal with that issue. Oh, we'll deal with several months. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well I don't fans, but it's, it's, a lot of it, a lot of right. dealings, not don't necessarily constitute an officer. No, most and, of, and most and of them don't, don't, don't normally. Right. Yeah, no, we've right. had to deal, with, deal right. with it because they're, they're, so there's they're nobody to, to right. do it, so yep. they can't go unanswered. So, yep. um, no, I appreciate. And we're the fallback, anyway. I appreciate you know, Aaron's statue, crew. But. Aaron and his crew <clears throat> taking care of a couple of these things, so you know we're we have a fallback, of course. So, so this is just an update. Yep. And the plan is you're still hoping to make contact with. Um, Tom Lange and, yeah, and I don't, I don't know what else to do on that. Right. Send him a letter, maybe. I guess. And we can try something yeah. else. So not I know the chief's tried. Oh. I've tried. Him, uh, Casey's tried. Uh, I haven't. We haven't done that as of yet. Yeah. So you know we can do that the old-fashioned way. Go knock on the door. Yeah. Maybe. So, well, that's what he does. Here. That's what we tell him to do. <laughs> no, I. Yeah. Uh, here we well, go. Well, maybe yeah. there should be a welfare check. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a fair comment. All right. That's or, all I have. That's all I. Will, that's that's all I have on that. Generating somebody will say, actually, this is the deal. Yeah. Wait for this opportunity. No, maybe somebody <laughs> would say this is where he's at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Item three. All right. Thank you for the update. Um, item three is the the Nova Solar project in Gary Dimmick's gravel pit that. Um, I actually was up on the rail trail behind there and looked down and it looks like there are a lot of solar panels yeah, in there. Solar um, and you can see it when you're up there, not well, but you can see it. And so they're just, it looks like they're pretty much installed. We had, um, this, this body had voted to go ahead and contract with them uh, to um, be part of the group net metering essentially. And we have an update um, that includes an update of the allocation instructions that was really the change and it was from a long list of meters that the town um, pays electric bills on to a shortened list of meters and when this came up last time um, I just raised the question of that you know our things have changed since we um, since we Tom's crew you know did a lot of work as the meters went in to do make a lot of repairs that were found and we've had changes in our electricity consumption and are these numbers really still right, especially for water and wastewater, which are the big ones. So anyway, we did get a revised um, list and it didn't actually 
change that dramatically. They didn't want to deal with the administrative the little, little overhead. Tiny of ones the small that are like, years. you know, 40 basis points. Administratively, it doesn't make sense on either end. So they consolidated and kept the bigger ones. So, um, so, um, in the interest of moving, we can still have more discussion, but I would entertain a motion to I have Sean um, yep. sign on behalf of the town. I make a motion that we authorize town. Sean to sign the agreement on behalf of the town with Novus. Second. All right, so any more discussion about this? Novus, Hardwick, Solar, LLC. They're the ones. Everybody. So nothing's really changed other than we got a, a more accurate account of what the of the percentages right. for the meters and they which didn't change off. a whole lot. It moved, it moved them a little bit. It moved them a little bit, not a ton, and it dropped yeah, off the some really small so meters. Mm -hmm. I I agree. We're they're small and yeah. okay. so the the treatment plant road one is the is the sewer treatment plant. It is. Yeah. And now the the nineteen Vermont or fifteen is the pump. Yeah, water. Well, that's the big the well pump. Yep. Yeah. And then some of these others are also pumps. Um, Buffalo Thank Street you. is a pump. Oh. Um, it's high, high is a pump. Hideaway is a high pump. Yeah, hideaway is a pump. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are pumps. Twenty Church Street is here. 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 Okay. Creamy Roads Town Garage. The rest are pumps. Yeah. Putnam's a pump. Wilkins pump. Hyde pump. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So those are. All right. Yeah. So when does we expect this oh, to be the police. online and operate? Oh yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. We need to um, um, May thirty first. Oh, really right. soon oh. because he said this was the last piece. He's like, come on, you guys, hurry so up. The project's just about build. When I send this back tomorrow, I can get you that date. Just yeah, so that's that right. That They're ready. Yes. They're ready to come cool. online soon. Yes. Yep. Yep. Cool. All right. So any more discussion? All in favor of having Sean sign this uh, uh, update to the agreement with Novus, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, any select board reports? Do, do we have a, an item four for these transfers of ownership? We voted on that business. last meeting. Oh. All business. Oh. Because it's already been authorized. Okay. How are we going to do this item? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, the only uh, just you know spring festival or fall festivals <laughs> Saturday the craft so fair and everything craft fairs at the school chicken um, barbecue the chicken barbecues at it's the historical the, society and tickets are available. it's not too late to get your tickets I know that. it's two dollars uh, less if you get your ticket ahead of time um, I have tickets at the at Whistle, and then other board members have tickets, so from Wiz or from Lorraine or... Actually, we sold our last two today, so unless I get another another paper from you, and I'm not going to be here tomorrow, um, go to Whistle to get your tickets. Yeah, and I'm apparently taking some to Richard Brochure right. tomorrow. Right. So. Richard will have some. And Eric got his ahead of time. I did. We, we sold last out and he didn't get any. Last year I was standing there. <laughs> Drooling. Yes. <laughs> it's good stuff. It's supposed to be a nice day. So it's going to yeah, be a nice day. Yeah. So, so come on, go to, the, go to the crafts fair and then come get some chicken or come get some chicken and then go to the crafts fair. It's, it makes for a nice so, day. Also, Bob. Is it? Homecoming. Homecoming, yeah. so. Yeah, make a... Make a big day of it. One thirty. Yeah. So I girls check. game and four or four thirty is a yeah. boys game I think. Yeah. So I did ch touch base with a couple of Stoneville Club guys. Oh, good. Briefly, very good. briefly. Um, both agree with me that it's not. There's no easy fix. No quick or, and easy fix to get the snowmobiles into downtown. Oh. Uh, and they were. We will talk about it again, but. But they don't. They're, they're not like, oh yeah, we could just well, do this. Just no. I mean, there isn't they've tried plan. before. They tried recently. They did. Um, and very successful. My plan, you know, my plan B to come from the other end, yeah. but they could 
more trail building than I'm going to do. What's the hold up, Danny? I who have never been on a snowmobile. Pave, well, pavement. They, they can't actually right. go on the pavement except to cross the road, right? Yeah, well, you okay. can go, yeah, they, you can go a little bit further than that, but they don't travel on pavement. And the only access from the vast trail would be from by the fire station or Atkins Field, but mm -hmm. that's as close as you get to the village. Or if the Grand Union, you know, mm -hmm. that parking lot. Um, and in order to get into, up into the village, there's just no good way. Right. They used to come up, the snowmobile trail used to cross the swinging bridge and we were on the back side of the river and then went up to the rail trail. Which is sort but, of like the bike path supposedly. But that, where the old the original bike path plan mm -hmm. was. But yeah. the problem there is it's wetland, two problems. It's wetland, they do have bridge would have to be built, and then there's a landowner that actually controls a piece of property that we have to go across that is probably un mm -hmm. pretty unlikely to allow it to happen. Mm -hmm. um, so the other option is here. So, and snowmobile itself, people aren't really going to, it's a, you know, you're dressed in gear, you got a helmet, you're not walking, you don't want to walk downtown, you're not going to carry your gear and then come back to your sled. It's just, you, you know, generally got to park where you're pretty close to where you are. Which is out. why House right. Pizza does well. Which is why which House is great. Pizza does well. Yep. It's, yeah, uh, it, it's well, with, snow, with snowmobile, it's location, location, location. Right. And the village of Harbor, not it could be done, but it have to be a, a pretty big effort. <laughs> and, and I honestly believe that there'd be, it'd be minimal return. Return, just yeah. because of, I mean the House of Pizza is busy in the afternoon, early evening, mm -hmm. but the rest of the time there's no snowmobile traffic. Mm -hmm. During the week it's very limited. I mean you get some in the evening, four or five. So to, to put a major investment into a trail into the village. But the village. Not the downtown, but the village urban compact is benefiting. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah. downtown, it's Main Street, right. red right. light to the bridge here is just a difficult place to get to. Um, and they were not against it, but they tried a few years ago. Um, yeah. And I've tried several times. And in the old days, we did, we came up Daniels Road, but it was not paved, mm -hmm. so there was snow on it all year long. So all we did is had that little stretch from the bridge. And then we come up onto the road and we went to Daniels Road and that was paved and it was it was dirt sure. all the way to Daniels, huh? Still get a few every now and then. Those yeah. Positive yeah. Go down that way, but. And it, I don't think anybody's going to say anything if that happens, but when it's snow covered, it's fine, but being pavement, it, it's hard to it, steer. It's, yeah. yeah, it's just hard to stuff. Yeah, so it's just one of those things. I don't think it's, I don't think there's enough benefit mm -hmm. to, to build it at this time. Mm -hmm. I still would like to get a trail to come in from, from uh, my side, but the yep. problem there is as close as you're going to get is up back of those businesses. Okay. And again, I don't know if I'm going to leave my all my stuff up there mm -hmm. to go down to have dinner and then have to walk back up that hill to get off my side <laughs> to go home. Probably not going to happen. Um, but right. Well, let's. At least I talked to a couple of people. Right. Did you mention anything about rail trail, coming rail trail improvements? I did. Okay. Complicated so still discussion. To, yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Because I haven't hooked up with any of them. No, yeah, but that. Timmy Hall's who we need to talk to. Okay. Probably. Okay. If you run into him, just corner him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Uh, any other select board reports? I just want to say chicken barbecue, 11 to 12 to uh, 130. Vermont Vaudeville next weekend. Vermont Vaudeville next weekend. Tickets are still on sale. Galaxy, Galaxy online. Galaxy online. Yeah. Uh, any new business? Yeah, the Chiefs in the Kiss of Pain campaign. Yeah, oh, there we go. Who are the other ones? The Chiefs in it to win it. Hey, right here. Right here. Right here. Who's that with the long hey, no. beard? Here, there we go. Right, right here. <laughs> It's, uh, list off the myself, uh, victims. Maggie McGuire, uh, Bill Bridwell, Dave Perigo, Principal, Director of Libraries, Lisa Samet, Larry Hamill, Marie Lepre, Carbone, yeah. and Chief Cochran. Wow. And uh, so everybody is aware, in all seriousness, uh, you know, it's for a good cause. Ballots are available at Judevine Library and the Galaxy book, Bookshop starting on Monday. Uh, check that. That's uh, the fifth would be uh, Saturday, excuse me. So October five to twenty five, and then um, let's see the event. Uh, the voting ends October twenty fifth. 
The winner is going to be announced um, at an event October 29, and uh, more details are coming. Is what happens if there's a tie? So you pay for your vote. Two picks. If there's a tie, Aaron does it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter who ties. So, so do you pay for your vote? That's how you yes. Do that's how you yeah, it's a, it's a dollar. So it's a dollar a vote for the uh, Judah Vine uh, so Library Building off, Fund. So yeah, that works. Vote yeah. as many times you want. That's right. correct. For as yeah. many candidates as you want. This is the way American elections should be right now. <laughs> Cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not above board. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who has the most money? Yeah. <laughs> we know how it works, but this way, at least, at least you guys are being honest. <laughs> yeah. All right. Sounds like good. So, uh, old business. Old business. Yes. Um, so previously, the select board authorized two different things. One was giving the hose cart to yeah. Paul Wood, the collector, yeah. that was authorized, um, and also um, doing the old museum items to yeah. the Historical Society. Yeah. Um, so it was felt that we needed, that the select board should actually sign a document that transfers yeah. ownership and says you're giving it to them. Yeah. So I just have those, one for each for item sign. for you to sign. Great. That's all. Pass As them. I said, they were already previously yep. authorized. Oh, and the speed cart's all done and over with. Yeah, the speed cart was so sold awesome. and we received payment. Nice. And that went into the Christmas party fund? <laughs> I don't know, I haven't even seen it. Um, it <laughs> went, I put it back into capital. Yeah. After yeah. The, after the, after the, after the White Rock. <laughs> no, that bought votes for the chief for the Kiss of Pig yeah, campaign yeah, is what that did. Yeah, that was a long time right there. <laughs> um, so. I need a motion to go into executive session to discuss uh, it's a contract discussion um, about a possible land purchase. So moved. Second. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, in the executive session, we, go, we can go down to your office, Sean. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Chief. Okay, um, that goes back. No. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. What about the other?